Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. A pleasure to have you here with us in wonderful Venice. Maybe you could begin with a brief introduction to your film, Vermin. What can people expect when they watch it? It's a horror movie, and this is the story of uh, a spider invasion inside a small building in the suburbs of Paris. So that's about it. <laughs> and um, it's been a while, I think, since we saw uh, a spider A spider movie? Yeah, film. I think. They have a bad reputation of B-movies, but the, the most famous is Arachnophobia, mm -hmm. of course. It was in the 80s, I think, something like that. So were you always a big fan of those films? Um, what, did you have that in mind, specifically, perhaps, that you wanted to maybe rail against? Like you say, that, yeah. that kind of genre, or are we informed by it? What's your relationship to, to those other films? Uh, um, I don't have a big relationship with... I love horror movies, of course, but I'm not a big, big, big fan, a huge fan like I, I see in, in some, some other places where you have fans everywhere and they're crazy about horror movies. But I like horror movies, but for the, 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 this particular film, I I try to saw all the to to watch all the movie uh, uh, with spiders, and I wanted to have uh, a new a new vision on it, a new you know a new aspect, and uh, uh, to modernize this and uh, have something more modern. And it was uh, the the challenge with this movie, and I'm uh, you can say that I'm a genre director, genre film director, but uh, just because I like images and sound and that's all because I think you, you can you can say about yourself that you are a genre director just because you you try to have another aspect than a realistic one and that's all. That's all I want for, for, for this, movie, this movie. I was thinking, oh, I wonder if you, like, you actually have a fear of spiders and that's what you're tapping into. But then I quickly thought, there's no way you could because how you could make this whole film if you were actually afraid. I'm not comfortable around spiders, but when uh, we started the project, I wasn't comfortable. But after like two months of uh, working with spiders, you, you, you don't care at all about spiders. It's like it, if it was uh, cats or dogs, it's the same. At the beginning of the shooting, we were quite far away from them and the end of the shooting you know all the team were, were like uh, one meter uh, from the spiders and uh, I didn't care at all. And so. how did you come up with the specific kind of setting you know like you say being in this this area of Paris? Um... So how did I come with the ID? Mm -hmm. Okay um, uh, I wanted to talk about the use and the use, especially the use in the suburbs of Paris, because I I, I uh, grown uh, there, and uh, uh, for me it's uh, you know in French we say le uh, délit de sale gueule when you are judged from where you come from or what you look like, and there is something about suburbians in Paris and they are judged just because they come from the suburbs, and they are judged li judge like uh, we judge uh, spiders. When you see a spiders, you uh, uh, you always want to crush it and don't care about it, and it's kind of the same way we treat suburbians in, uh, in, in France and I w wanted to talk about this and it was the perfect you know, metaphor and uh, parallel between the, these two. So. And, and also would you say that it feels like these sort of um, parts of cities but particularly Paris are often not presented in a very authentic way either kind of fetishized or yeah. caricatured yeah. so actually showing it in its in its true self mm -hmm. was perhaps also quite refreshing yeah I, w I wanted to do that because as I told you I uh, grew up in the in the suburbs and I always uh, uh, saw movies that are really dark are really caricatural about the the, the suburbs and I wanted to do something more uh, realistic to the suburb I know and uh, it's something that uh, when in a in a building, you know, it's like a small family. Everybody uh, know each other, and uh, you have a really close relationship. And what I wanted to show that there are not so many problems, and it's not always bad drugs. Mm -hmm. And all the movies about, uh, in France about suburbs, uh, it's, it's always drama and and drugs or caricatural comedies. And I wanted to show something new, something I know. So I hope I, 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 uh, I did it with Vermi. Mm -hmm. How about your incredible cast? How did you choose them, in particular Theo? Yeah. Um, 
guess you had to work with people who also didn't have a fear of spiders. <laughs> um, but it looks like you probably had quite a lot of fun making it as well. I don't want to be caricatural, but the girls were really afraid about with the spiders and the guys not so much. <laughs> but at the end of the shooting, as I told you, the girls mm. were like really comfortable with the spiders, mm. so everybody was on on the same page. But uh, you know, it, I, I always wanted to to make a movie with Theo. I always think about, uh, thought about him when I was writing the movie. So as soon as I had the possibilities to meet him, uh, uh, we met and we talked uh, talked about the, the the movie. And he was into the energy. He wanted to do some thing uh, new he wanted to do a horror movie so we were on the same on the same page and after that you know uh, other comedians uh, I met were great comedians so my uh, my uh, choice weren't on the you know how good they are it was uh, more on the human side I wanted to shoot the movie with the best human I could because this is my first feature I wanted I wanted it to be a uh, perfect adventure and this is my generation this is the youth I know so I wanted people I can talk to we are on the same page we think the same things and we created a, a small group a small band of friends and now we are friends outside of the shoot so uh, I think I, I did a good job casting them because they are like they, they are the best humans for these roles so I'm really glad and from kind of a technical aspect, you know, how did you approach as it sort of escalates and escalates? You're working with real spiders, so you yeah. think, how did you manage that? And I guess it's true to um, horror, you know, at some point it does seem to have been taken over more and more with CGI, mm -hmm. and it does feel kind of retro mm -hmm. or, or great to see. It look very tangible, it look very real, not that it's all just been pasted in afterwards. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was an uh, artistic idea, but also a budget, uh, a question of budget. We, don't, we didn't have the budget to have so many uh, visual effects. Mm. So we have some, but they are not so, so present in the, in the movie. So I had to, to think the challenge was really uh, important for this movie because it's the first horror movie like this in France. So I had to do something really new. So I had to have the best ideas I, I, I could. So uh, there was a lot of work before the shooting. We worked really, really hard on the uh, artistic direction. And uh, how can I film this, suggest that, how can I light this and that, uh, to uh, and the work with the sound. And I'm fortunate enough to have worked with the same team since 10 years. We did a lot of short movies. We are all friends from the suburbs, and we did the same movies together. And this is our first feature film, so we were really glad to work together. And we know each other uh, very well, so it was, it was great things and not so hard the the challenge was really hard but with with my team it was it was a great experience it was great was there a particular moment that was most difficult or a particular scene and on the flip side what was your favorite moment on set there were some times that where the 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 the, the technical team were quite you know uh, tired because the, the days are long and uh, all the teams uh, influence each other. So this team is tired, so this team will uh, work uh, a bit more, a bit less, and so everybody influences each other. So uh, we had some days, one day in particular, where the technical team was uh, had a, 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 an important shot, a difficult one. So we had like f uh, 15 takes, but each takes took about uh, 10 minutes, so it was a long, a long day, and we had to stop the shooting because everybody, everybody was tired. Uh, as I told you, for the for the actors, it's the same for my technical team. I work with great human beings, so I had to be in contact with them and understand that okay, they won't do uh, more. The day is uh, the day is yeah, this day is gone, and it's not a problem, and we will do better tomorrow. But we have to stop because the shot is great; it's here, but now we can't do nothing more because everybody is completely dead so we will do it tomorrow so uh, 
it's like the, the, the only advice I had is you work with human and you have to deal with humans and the best you deal with human, is human the best director you will be. So I tried to do like uh, uh, the, the captain of, a, of a, a football team or something like that and to hear everybody and, and, uh, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> And do you think that also as it, as it goes on, it almost becomes more like a survival thriller, perhaps? It yeah, has sure. more in, in, in um, I think someone mentioned, you know, John Wega in, mm -hmm. in Attack Block or something yeah, like yeah, that. Sure. And so do you think that's also kind of in the DNA of, of, of how it Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, one of the movies we had in mind, it was uh, Green Room. Uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's the same. It's a survival. It's a week low. So it's, uh, everything happens in a, in a building. And, you know, you, you have close-ups and you are in the dark and you have to follow the the characters so we have uh, these uh, movies in mind and uh, everybody everybody uh, 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 talked about uh, attack the block of course but uh, we thought that attack the block is like it's kind of a comedy I, I, w I wanted to have some comedy aspect in my movie but I think we are a bit more serious and you know no. grounded yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, attack the block is more like uh, uh, Fantastic, fantasy, fantastic, and I had big spiders in my movies, so I had to be really, really realistic about all the other aspects mm -hmm. to make the audience believe in the spiders. So. Um, and also, I, can't, I don't know when you said that you'd like written it and stuff. Do you think that somehow the pandemic and that feeling of claustrophobia somehow seeped into it? Cause yeah. um, you know, Evil Dead Rise. Mm -hmm. uh, Lee Cronin sure. was saying that. He thinks, you know, subconsciously, a lot of the stuff in his film about being trapped in the house almost came to him, like, in lockdown. Do, yeah. do you think that's part of the...? Yeah, with you, uh, we, we wrote the movie with Florent Bernard, my, my co-author, and uh, uh, we used the, the pandemic and, you know, the... the, the uh, the, the fear of the, another pandemic or to another lockdown. Uh, at the moment in the movie, they are, they, the, the police tell everybody that you can't, you mm. can't leave the, the, the building. We used it. Uh, uh, if we used this sentence in particular uh, like five years ago, I don't think it would, ha it would have worked. But nowadays, it was really easy to write a little sentence which says, uh, you can't uh, go out, you have to stay in the building because we don't know what is happening. And it works for everybody because nowadays we know that uh, a virus or something like that have to be quarantined. Mm. And uh, so we used it, of course, and I think that the audience will feel this and understand the fear of the character because the fear is not only the spiders, it's to be locked uh, together mm. when you don't know everybody. Mm. And in terms of the takeaways, obviously like any great horror or thriller, you know, you're very immersed and, you know, in the suspense and in the tension. But like you said at the beginning, I think, you know, genre can be a great way, you know, to have subtext mm -hmm. and discuss other issues. And you're really drawn in, really, to the characters. Mm. Um, so, you know, what do you hope people will take away from, from watching it and maybe reflect on? I think the movie uh, have a little... Um, uh, clue uh, of an answer of how can we act uh, in the suburbs. You know, we have some issues in France nowadays uh, between the, the, the youth uh, with the states and the, the suburbians with the other, with the police, and we have a lot of movies about that. And all the Monsters movie, I think, uh, talk, to, talk about uh, xenophobia, the, the fear of the other. And I, I, th I think it's in the center of Vermin is the fear of the other, the fear of the unknown, the fear of the thing you don't know when you see a spider. I told you, you want to crush it, you don't know how the spiders will act, but you just want to kill it. And the answer, I think, lies in the, in the movie is that uh, if we erase the fear, we can, uh, we can have uh, a, a clue to, uh, uh, to an answer. You can understand how to act with the other. You don't have to fear the unknown. You don't have to fear the other. And maybe you will uh, be able to communicate and uh, we, don't, we, will, we won't have so many problems mm. in France. And what does it mean to you to have your film here at Venice Film Festival? It's crazy. Uh, I, I didn't believe my, my, uh, my team when they told me that I would be in the uh, Critics Week. Because for a horror movie, a first feature, it's kind of crazy. And I was completely amazed. 
and really, really glad it's so magic. Uh, my first feature, you know, I can't believe it. <laughs> And do you already know what you're going to work on next, or are you going to kind of let yeah, this one settle? Yeah, I have some, or? I have some, some thoughts, some ideas. I work on them with my, my the producer of Vermin, some other with uh, other teams, and uh, I don't know. I want to see first. I want to live the the, the adventure of Vermin the, the most I can. I want to come here. I want to go to the other festivals, and I want to, of course, uh, the movie to co to come out in France mm. and see. Hey, what happens and what I can do and I want to leave everything and after I will be I think it's in winter I will be able to know what I want to do next and how do you see the kind of film industry particularly in France and mm -hmm. opportunities for different kinds of filmmakers I mean French cinema is all We've got such diversity in it, but do you think it's in a good place, or there's more 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 progress? I made? think uh, the young filmmakers can be glad that uh, Netflix and platforms exist because they give us the opportunity to make new movies with new subjects, new adventure, genre films. And without Netflix, I wouldn't have been able to make Vermin. They, are, they were the first to, to, uh, to bet on us. Mm. And uh, it was a really uh, amazing, uh, um, how do you say, a meeting, a rencontre. You know, we, we met each other and it was, mm. it was crazy. Uh, and I think that we can be glad that platforms exist because the, the make a movie in France, like a big screen movie, is a big, big, big challenge. You have to have like five years, 10 years in front of you and to, uh, to write, to fight for your movie. It's, uh, it's really difficult, but with platforms, I think you have a little chance to do it. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for sharing thank with Thank you me. so much. Um, really enjoy the rest of your time here in Venice. Thank and you. Thanks for your time. Thank, thank you. you.